My name is Luca Pretolesi. We are here in Las Vegas at Studio DMI. I'm very, very excited about Gain Station. The plugin is finally out. Cannot wait to dig deeper into the plugin and talk to you guys about the project, the plugin. So, Mike Dean, uh, as a signature sound, something that we know for decades, he has a very aggressive sound, is a way to create saturation and clipping. It's extremely hard to replicate on a plugin format. I think we did it, and we did it well. So I'm very excited to take you guys through a little bit of a tour of the plugin, understand what you can do, how you can squeeze this plugin, and get the best use for your music. Let's follow me. Starting from the left side of the plugin, we have the input gain. No color, no harmonics, pure level. Positive and negative. Very simple. Coming to the plugin, now we have modules. This is really important. If you get right the way the plugin behaves, you, you'll be able to do so much on the creative side, also on the technical side. So starting from the left side, we have the pre-knob. The pre-knob is a series of four different preamp. M, I, K, E. Every preamp has a different flavor, different way to create harmonics, and different tone. Um, I think that's kind of like the secret sauce of the plugin is actually right there from the beginning. From the preamp, you have an option. In this option, it's with a routing. So where do you want to go? You want to go preamp, EQ. Okay, great. You leave routing number one, and then you have the preamp going into the base knob of the pull textile EQ the mic choose to incorporate on the plugin with a 60 and a 100 hertz uh, bell and then now you have the the top end which is a 3k a 10k band so again both bands are coming right after the preamp and you can activate or disactivate the bands and you can choose 3k 10k or 600 and 100 right after that now you have a first stage of stereo widening and the spreader is extremely effective essentially you can do four times this the input level on the side so essentially you can create a difference that's four times louder than the input level without pushing down the mono after the spreader you can go into the clipper the clipper, you have the same choice of four selection of clippers, which is Dean, D-E-A-N. Every uh, clipper has a different flavor. Go from like smooth and kind of like sharp and clean to a little bit more color, more round, more soft clipping, and even more soft clipping. So we go from hard clipping to soft clipping in a very interesting way, because now what's gonna happen, the harmonic generated from, by the preamp will feed through EQ to mid-side processing into the clipper. Now, every single move will affect how the clipper behave. We have a meter at the end, and then now we can, on the on routing number one, we can break wall a zero dB and use this as a clipper. If you change the routing to number two, now we change, we're changing the flow. So we're going from preamp, in this case, to EQ to Clipper to Spreader. All right, let's dive into the sound of this unit. Let's go.
this brick wall to zero. Check how interesting it is to essentially change the input gain of the entire plugin and feel the entire unit behave in a constantly different way. Check it out. Now if we change the color of the pre, will change a totally different way again. Now let's apply similar techniques but just on the drum bus. Check it out. Wait. Let's open the side. Alright guys, this was my overview about the game station. Enjoy. Bye.